Just talk to us about what these SACOs are, apparently targeting the rural population who constitute about 8% of the Kenyan population who are involved in this kind of financial setup. Yeah, thank you. I think the SACOs uh, were based on the principle of uh, groups coming together, uh, those who share common interests, coming together to to pool their funds together and be able to borrow at cheaper rates uh, due to the mainstream banks being a lot more excessive and uh, not being accessible to, to some of these small uh, organizations or smaller individuals. Yeah. All right. Now, um, the issue right now is the role that these savings and credit cooperatives are playing and the strengths and the weaknesses. Could you give us a SWOT analysis? Where do they work well and where don't they work so well? Well, uh, the corporate movement, uh, like in Kenya, is very strong. Uh, it contributes quite a significant amount of the GDP, uh, contributes in the region of about 30 to 35 percent of the GDP in, in Kenya. Uh, it has thrived a lot because there are a number of Kenyans who are unbanked and uh, cannot access uh, cheap credit. Uh, by them coming in together, it enables the members to access cheaper loans, and most of them are actually uh, organization-based or uh, activity-based where they share common interests mm -hmm. and are able to share in on, uh, on their challenges. Uh, that in itself enables that growth uh, to allow them access uh, cheap credit. Right. Uh, the disadvantages that uh, we realize with some of these circles is that uh, their governance issues uh, you find that a number of them are managed by uh, people who are not uh, well versed in management, uh, are not very well educated, mm. uh, and the membership in a number of, especially the rural based circles, are actually uh, illiterate. The level of literacy are fairly low, and uh, this affects uh, the management of these circles. All right. Uh, however, yeah. Yes, Oliver, I just wanted to know about regulation of these SACOs. I know that the government initially introduced a variety of criteria in terms of how money is to be channeled and processed by the employer uh, and by the marketing authorities, but there is still a sense that more could be done? Well, uh, the regulation of the SACOs, I think it's, 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 some, it's a welcome decision because uh, initially there was a lot of heavy regulation and uh, around the 90s, then they relaxed on the regulation and by so doing, a number of circles went down because of poor management. And they've introduced some regulation that will at least ensure that the sanity and discipline within the, the circles. Uh, the regulation mainly, with a recent, I think, uh, last year's uh, act, uh, is basically targeting uh, deposit taking uh, circles, uh, where they'll actually monitor things like uh, share capital, monitor liquidity, mm. uh, in order to ensure that members actually don't lose their funds and that they invest uh, members' funds into areas that are not risky. Uh, Okay, and just a final question to you, Oliver. Um, there are some concerns that have been raised about um, the impact of HIV and AIDS and the extent to which uh, members would be withdrawing more funds because they want to take care of their medical expenses. Um, what is the dynamic and the relationship between healthcare, SACOs, and the treatment of HIV? Well, it is true that uh, HIV has affected some SACOs. Uh, especially some of the rural-based circles where HIV has been rampant uh, and it has actually made the membership and the savings actually go down. Uh, one of the ways in which uh, the circle fraternity is actually addressing this is through education of members, uh, healthcare education to ensure that uh, members actually take good care of their health in order to reduce uh, mm. these. Uh, so such social problems are mainly addressed through education of members uh, and ensuring that at least members invest in uh, income generating projects so that should, uh, should they even be affected in terms of employment, then they have a fallback in terms of right. an income generating avenue.